Effective communication is a vital skill in both personal and professional spheres, and mastering the art of persuasion can greatly enhance our ability to influence and persuade others. In the book Verbal Judo, Second Edition, The Gentle Art of Persuasion by George J. Thompson, Ph.D., readers are introduced to the concept of verbal judo, a powerful communication technique that emphasizes the use of strategic language and tactics to peacefully de-escalate conflicts, build rapport, and achieve positive outcomes. This article delves into the key principles and strategies outlined in the book, providing insights into the philosophy behind verbal judo and offering practical techniques to enhance persuasive abilities. Whether in challenging situations or everyday encounters, the principles of verbal judo offer a framework for fostering understanding, diffusing conflicts, and achieving effective communication. Communication is an integral part of our everyday lives, whether we realize it or not. From our personal relationships to our professional interactions, the ability to effectively communicate can make a world of difference. It can help build strong connections, resolve conflicts, and persuade others to see our point of view. That's where verbal judo comes in, offering a strategic approach to communication that aims to achieve positive outcomes through persuasion rather than force. Verbal Judo, coined by George J. Thompson, is a concept that combines the principles of martial arts with verbal communication techniques. It focuses on redirecting potentially volatile situations by using empathy, effective listening, and respectful persuasion. By understanding the power of words and mastering the art of persuasive communication, you can navigate difficult conversations, de-escalate conflicts, and influence others without resorting to aggression. Verbal judo is all about utilizing language and behavior to achieve desired outcomes while maintaining rapport and mutual respect. In order to master verbal judo, one must adopt a specific mindset. This includes a commitment to remaining calm and composed, even in challenging situations. It's about approaching conversations with the intention of understanding and finding common ground, rather than trying to prove oneself right. By focusing on building rapport and empathizing with others, you can create an environment where productive dialogue can take place. Verbal Judo operates on a few core principles. Firstly, it emphasizes the importance of treating others with respect and dignity, even when faced with hostility. This means refraining from personal attacks and instead focusing on the issue at hand. Secondly, verbal judo encourages active listening, which involves fully engaging with the speaker and seeking to understand their perspective. Additionally, verbal judo emphasizes the use of tactical language, which involves choosing words carefully to influence behavior and elicit desired responses. Conflict can arise in various forms, from heated arguments to subtle disagreements. Verbal judo teaches us to recognize the different types of conflict and respond accordingly. By identifying the underlying motivations, emotions, and needs involved in a conflict, we can tailor our communication approach to address those specific aspects. Language and behavior play a significant role in how conflicts unfold and escalate. Verbal judo teaches us to carefully choose our words and tone, aiming to diffuse tension and build rapport. By using neutral and non-confrontational language, we can encourage open dialogue and increase the chances of a positive resolution. Furthermore, our behavior, including body language and facial expressions, can either support or hinder effective communication during conflicts. Active listening is a fundamental technique of verbal judo. It involves giving our full attention to the speaker, demonstrating understanding through verbal and nonverbal cues, and asking pertinent questions. By actively listening, we show respect and empathy, which can help de-escalate conflicts and foster a more cooperative environment. Asking effective questions is another powerful tool in the verbal judo arsenal. By asking open-ended questions that encourage dialogue and reflection, we can guide the conversation and prompt the other person to consider alternative viewpoints. Strategic questioning can influence their thinking process and lead them towards a more receptive state. 
How we frame our statements and messages can greatly impact how they are received. Verbal Judo teaches us to use positive language, focusing on solutions and common ground rather than dwelling on blame or negativity. By presenting our ideas in a clear and concise manner, while considering the needs and interests of the other person, we increase the likelihood of a favorable response and successful persuasion. Verbal Judo, with its practical and tactical communication techniques, offers a persuasive approach that allows us to navigate conflicts, build relationships, and achieve positive outcomes. By embracing the principles and mindset of Verbal Judo, we can become more effective communicators and skillfully influence those around us. Building a strong rapport with others and earning their trust is crucial in effective communication. When practicing verbal judo, one of the key elements to achieve this is empathy. Put yourself in the other person's shoes and try to understand their perspective. This doesn't mean you have to agree with them, but it shows that you respect their feelings and opinions. By showing empathy, you create a safe and open environment for communication to flourish. Empathy is like the secret sauce of verbal judo. It allows you to connect on a deeper level with others, fostering understanding and building trust. When you genuinely show empathy, you demonstrate that you care about the other person's emotions and experiences. This can help diffuse tension and improve the overall quality of the conversation. So, be willing to step outside your own perspective and walk in someone else's shoes for a while. You might be surprised to learn that only a small portion of communication is actually verbal. Nonverbal cues and body language play a significant role in conveying messages and building rapport. Pay attention to your own body language and ensure it aligns with your intention to create a positive connection. Similarly, observe the nonverbal cues of the other person to gain insight into their feelings and thoughts. Mastering the art of nonverbal communication can greatly enhance your ability to connect with others effectively. Verbal judo techniques are not limited to the professional realm. They can also be incredibly beneficial in personal relationships. From workplace interactions to conversations with loved ones, verbal judo principles can enhance communication in all aspects of life. In the fast-paced and often stressful environment of the workplace, conflicts and miscommunication are bound to occur. By implementing verbal judo techniques, you can diffuse tense situations, promote understanding, and foster a more positive work environment. Whether you're dealing with a difficult coworker, a demanding boss, or a disgruntled customer, verbal judo can help you navigate these interactions with grace and tact. Strong communication is the foundation of any successful relationship. Verbal judo principles can help you navigate disagreements, express your needs, and truly listen to your loved ones. By employing empathy, active listening, and respectful communication, you can strengthen your personal relationships and create a more harmonious atmosphere in your interactions. Difficult and tense situations can arise unexpectedly, requiring quick thinking and effective communication to de-escalate conflicts. Verbal Judo equips you with strategies to handle these challenging moments with composure and assertiveness. In heated situations where emotions are running high, Verbal Judo can help you regain control and diffuse tension. By staying calm, using empathetic language, and actively listening, you can redirect negative energy and work towards a more productive and peaceful resolution. Conflict is a natural part of human interaction, but it doesn't have to result in a winner and a loser. Verbal Judo teaches techniques to find win-win solutions where both parties feel heard and satisfied. Through effective communication, compromise, and a focus on collaboration rather than competition, conflict resolution becomes more accessible and mutually beneficial. Becoming a true verbal judo master takes practice, patience, and a willingness to learn from your experiences. Here are some tips and strategies to help you excel in the art of verbal judo. One of the best ways to improve your verbal judo skills is through practice. Engage in role-playing exercises or create scenarios where you can apply the techniques you've learned. 
This allows you to fine-tune your responses and become more comfortable in various communication situations. While verbal judo can be incredibly effective, it's essential to acknowledge that challenges and pitfalls are part of the learning process. Don't be discouraged by setbacks or difficult conversations. Instead, reflect on what went wrong and learn from it. Adaptability, resilience, and a sense of humor will be your allies as you navigate the twists and turns of verbal judo. Remember, even masters of the art were once beginners. As we conclude our exploration of verbal judo, second edition, the gentle art of persuasion, it becomes evident that effective communication is a skill that can be learned and honed through the practice of verbal judo. By adopting the principles and techniques discussed in this book, individuals can become adept at diffusing conflicts, building rapport, and achieving positive outcomes in their interactions. Whether in personal relationships, professional settings, or challenging situations, the gentle art of persuasion can be a powerful tool for creating understanding and fostering productive dialogue. Embracing the philosophy of verbal judo offers a pathway to becoming a more persuasive and empathetic communicator, enabling us to navigate conflicts with grace and achieve mutually beneficial resolutions. FAQ 1. Can verbal judo be applied in various situations? Yes, the principles of verbal judo can be applied in a wide range of situations. Whether it's dealing with difficult customers, resolving conflicts in the workplace, or even handling disagreements in personal relationships, the techniques and strategies of verbal judo can help improve communication and achieve positive outcomes. 2. Is verbal judo about manipulating or deceiving others? No, verbal judo is not about manipulation or deception. It emphasizes the use of strategic language and tactics to diffuse conflicts, build rapport, and achieve understanding. The goal of verbal judo is to create a win-win situation through effective communication, empathy, and mutual respect. 3. Can anyone learn verbal judo? Yes, anyone can learn and practice verbal judo. While some individuals may naturally possess better communication skills, verbal judo provides a framework and set of techniques that can be learned and applied by anyone willing to invest the time and effort into improving their communication abilities. 4. Is verbal judo effective in high-stress situations? Yes, verbal judo can be particularly effective in high-stress situations. By employing active listening, empathy, and de-escalation techniques, verbal judo helps to diffuse tension and create a calmer environment. It equips individuals with the skills to manage their own emotions and strategically respond to challenging situations, leading to more positive outcomes. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating book recommendations and in-depth discussions. Until next time, keep reading and stay curious.